are lob stirring up the pot with some colors that you probably haven't seen on a lobster before. A rare cotton candy colored lobster was recently found off the coast of Maine. The extremely uncommon crustacean is a find that is literally one in a hundred million. That's wild, right? Ooh. This beautifully colored lobster, almost looking opal-like, uh, has been named Hattie. Has been getting a lot of attention because of her unique and beautiful look. And is joining us now uh, is Mark Mural, the CEO of GetMainLobster.com, along with it, it's Hattie, I believe, uh, the lobster. She's now famous yes. for her good looks. <laughs> she. It's crazy famous. It's unbelievable, really. Hattie yeah. is like more <laughs> famous for her looks than, you know, Giselle, Kim Kardashian. That's, uh, right? that's impressive. Right? Well, hers is natural. Yeah. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mark, uh, first of all, thanks for being on the show. Now, listen, what was the reaction when your lobster supplier realized he had, he had caught such a rare lobster? I mean, that's, that's got to be a, a heck of a feeling, I would imagine. Yeah, you know, Billy's been fishing for, you know, well over 30 years, and he's only caught a couple rare ones, and he's never caught a cotton. And um, his deckhands, who are younger, were actually a lot more excited than he was, but he texted me the picture, and I was like, oh, my God, you're going to be famous. Um, <laughs> because, you know, again, like you said, it's one in 100 million. It's unbelievable. And uh, it's looter. It's a gorgeous lobster. Well, can we ask you, is Hattie there? Is she camera shy, or can we sneak a peek at your girl? No, she, she gave me permission to, to show you, so grab her. <laughs> All right, good, good. She Sounds gave you like, consent yeah, to Hattie, pick her up. Yeah, yeah. Hattie's handlers yeah. are cool with it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so you turn her a little she's bit. Leaving. You can see the color. Of, yeah. Hi, Hattie. So you can see it's. She says hello. Wow. You can't hear her. She's very soft spoken. Are you able to figure but, uh, out the age of Hattie? Um, I would say she's probably about six. Uh, and then, you know, because of her size. How long can lobsters live for? You know, the myth is that they actually can live forever, right? Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, it's very living in the ocean is not an easy thing. They shed their shell once a year, mm -hmm. and uh, so they go shellless for a little bit. But um, we, I think the oldest that we've seen is like 70, 80 years old, and they're huge. They're just, because they grow, you know, yeah. twice a year they grow, so well, it's pretty crazy. Hattie doesn't look a day over uh, 50, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, yeah, well, so earlier you said that your fishermen caught a cotton, like it's just, it's just a thing that happens all the time. Before today, yeah. I had never heard of a cotton candy lobster, so uh, <laughs> I assume, I assume you've heard of them before? Like these, these are out there, right? Uh, I've seen one, like photographs that it's been caught. I, this is the first time I've ever seen uh, a, a cotton candy in person. Uh, I've seen an orange in person. Uh, there's blue, right? It's like one in 20 million. So that's not as rare. Uh, the one in orange is like one in 30 to 50. Um, the orange one basically looks like it's actually already been cooked. Um, and then you have some that are really interesting, uh, like a calico, which uh, kind of has interesting pattern, and then one that's split right down the middle. Um, mm. that's and cool. that's like one in 50 million. It's crazy. Uh, but really, the cotton candy, uh, this is the only one I've ever seen in person. Um, and I won't be seeing it for too much longer. She's going to the Seacoast Science Center mm. in Rye, New Hampshire. That's what we wanted um, to ask you, actually. And because yeah. she is a rare color, does that make it more dangerous for her to actually be in the ocean? Yeah, you know, I think she would definitely be much more attractive to prey. Uh, but as I mentioned, for a lobster who has to shed its shell twice a year mm. to grow, uh, it's dangerous for any of them, you know. But yeah, for her especially, you know, she's, she's bright and shiny and gorgeous. So uh, she's going to be very attractive. I'm, yeah, I'm sure uh, she's attractive to prey and also all the fella lobsters out there, too. <laughs> like that shiny, right. like, shiny outer layer. Like Sebastian. Exactly. Or, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So, listen, are these rare lobsters found in other waters in the world, or do they mostly show up in the Northeast? I have never seen um, an abnormally colored lobster anywhere else in the world. Uh, I've only seen them in the North Atlantic. 
So I don't know if it's something interesting with our uh, with, with the ocean waters here or, or or what. But I've never seen a spiny lobster from the West Coast. It had an odd color. I've never seen an African. Never seen a Caribbean. Um, huh. But yeah, it's 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 an anomaly. Why it only seems to uh, get harvested here in the east. Makes it so special. Uh, in the North Atlantic. And I hate, right? to, I hate to ask this question, if you could cover Hattie's ears, uh, but not that anyone would. Covering them. <laughs> covering them. Okay, does this, <laughs> does this change the taste of the lobster? <laughs> and so I don't yeah. eat lobster, so right? ah, I don't want Hattie yeah, to hear it. Sure you don't. But, but does it change? Right. <laughs> does Hattie taste yeah. good? Um, That's what we want to know. Well, we're never going to know because we're not going to cook it. But um, unlikely, right? So people have eaten orange lobsters and blue lobsters, and uh, nobody reported any sort of dissimilar taste. Okay. But, um, yeah, Hattie, it would be interesting, though. She tasted like cotton candy. Yeah, and she, she's looking yeah. up at you like, what? Right. Hattie, you're yeah, sick, girl. You are kind of blow your mind. <laughs> yeah, she's all good. She's all good. Oh, that's great. Well, we really appreciate you joining us, you and Hattie. Uh, this was a pretty cool yeah, thing to see. Sure. Yeah. Very cool. Did you see that? I was doing my lobster claw. She was, yeah. Is that what you were doing? Yeah, that's what I was you doing. You got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Hattie. Bye. Uh, that Bye. is Get Maine Lobster CEO Mark Mural. Mural. I hope I said that right. It's perfect. Okay. Either way. Either way. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you both.